Hello everyone, welcome. I am the game commentator for Game Base and this is Hitman Sniper. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I personally am a very, very big fan of Hitman. I have watched all the Hitman movies and I've also played the, the Hitman game on other consoles. This one is the one for, well, iOS or Android. Like, core of the game stays the same. It's about an assassin, Agent 47, um, you know, Hitman just goes out to kill people you know he gets these contracts you know at its core you just buy guns upgrade guns get more and more contracts you just kill people it's a lot of fun um in addition to your normal contracts you know killing normal normal um targets we also have a death value mode which is where you you um you kill zombies which is pretty pretty fun i mean if you've played call of duty zombies you already know like you know killing down zombies it's it's a lot of fun a lot of fun so this this game brings both aspects together it's pretty nice as you can see i'm on mission 10 like that's how you, that's how you know i already love 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 this game um obviously some of the earlier missions are very simple uh you just have a target simple kill that's it um real quick let me show you guys our targets this is the list there's maybe like 10, 10 or something targets. I've unlocked like say half of them. We got the first one, Marcus Krug. You know, all these different people that you unlock with every every past mission. And so um, the reason, so the thing is, as you can see, there's Intel 1, Intel 2, Intel 3, Intel 4, right? And so with every mission, you unlock a new um, target. But then eventually you can also get intel for older targets so say in mission one i already defeated marcus krug but i can possibly get you know in mission seven i can get new intel for him so he becomes more valuable it's a more valuable target and so the rewards are also better um all right uh let's quickly check out the armory uh so far we only have one gun lock this is the izanami um, it's already on level 8 so you can upgrade weapons and upgrading weapons allows you to get abilities so as you can see on level 4 um, if I unlock if I upgrade this weapon to level 4 I can unlock this ability which is iron lungs but so far I already have instinct and dead eye uh, it's a pretty good weapon but I am very very eager to unlock this new weapon and essentially this weapon is unlocked by collecting the different parts so as you can see i have basically all all the different parts except for one i have one more part remaining and the way it works in this game is you get these parts from killing targets so obviously as with most games you get some sort of currency in game for you know completing missions killing your targets but in this game you also get gun parts and so this right here is an uncommon part all these are common parts so you know just play it play the missions and you'll get them this right here was the barrel part which was uncommon it was hard to get but the way you wait the way i got it the way you get it is by is right here you see this target which is my first target for you know, the first mission uh when i got new intel you know it became a more valuable target and so when i found him and i killed him again i got this uh uncommon weapon and so if i get more intel for this target then again i'll get this, the score value will be seventy five thousand, and i'll get a rare level gun part so you know to unlock this gun all we have to do is find this target which is rewarded from omi makhluf i believe we've already defeated this target but once again we can get new um intel this guy right here omi makhluf new intel and once we get him you know once we kill him boom we get the part we unlock the weapon of course there are other weapons in the game that you can unlock the same way but also you can buy with real money let's play it so we're on we're on mission 10 as i said the first couple missions are very easy and it gets more and more challenging with every mission this one is not too bad i would say it, you just have to perform one moving headshot so let's see how we do all right so as you can see a very nice screen um, objectives, two objectives, perform one moving headshot, and the second one, obviously, kill Jaroslav Binak, the target. Um, as you see on, like, just below that, if you eliminate extra targets, you get a higher score, and obviously, you can also get, uh, specific parts. So, let's get right into it. Very, very nice, um, map that we have in front of us. It's snowing, beautiful, reminds me of, 
Montreal. Um, you just tap the screen and your sniper like scope comes into play. Now, these guys, the ones dressed in black, are the bodyguards, and obviously you can take them out with your sniper. Okay, so let's see. We need one moving headshot, and as we can see, there's a bunch of bodyguards walking around, so they're like the perfect target for us to kill. Um, I'll probably get this guy. Like, I don't see a lot of people around. All right, so we have this breathing option, which slows down time. Up. Oh, I think I missed. Okay, okay, he's walking. I got it. Oh, okay. Um, come on, walk. Come on, man. Walk. Let's go. Walk. Ah. Come on, start walking. I need to kill you, man. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Up. I guess he's not walking. Come on, man. Start relaxing. You just almost got shot. Okay. I, we might have to find another guy. Okay, this guy's just uh, taking his own sweet time, living life. Oh, is he on the move again? Yes, he is. All right. So because he's moving, I'm gonna have to anticipate a little better. Oh, please work. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got him. Beautiful. So as you saw, like we can slow down time with this breathing option, which is actually very handy. But it is still a moving target, so you have to anticipate. Um, you know, obviously adjust and uh, shoot maybe like a little bit in front so you can account for it and, you know, kill your target. Okay, so we've got, we have to kill Jaroslav, which I think I just saw. That hit, that is him right there. But I don't want to kill him yet. I want to see if we can find any of our other targets. I think I saw someone here. Alright, this has to be a target. Either way, like, it's okay if we kill her, like... You know, I don't see any other guards around. Even up oh, is that Jaroslav? Okay, I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna kill him anyway. Yes, beautiful shot. Awesome. That was two headshots so far. Um, do we want to take out any of the guards? Okay, okay, so that's the target. Okay, we have seven minutes left. We can kill him now, or we can find some other targets. All right. Okay, one thing I gotta tell you guys before we actually need to is that we... Okay, there's... I missed my chance. But there's only a certain number of bullets in the chamber. And so you have to re, uh, reload every every so often. And that was a maneuver right there. So swipe left, swipe right, swipe in front. And that right there was the reload. Alright, let's... Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's a guard. Okay. Overall, uh, I don't know how you guys feel about the game so far, but oh, the guard's been spotted. Oh no, is that a guard? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm gonna kill him because uh, he could be he could be trouble. Oh, ah, he missed. I missed. It's okay. Oh, I think that's a miss too. That's terrible. Okay, with this, oh my god. Okay, he's gone. He is gone. He's not coming back out. Alright, so this option that I click right here is the Dead Eye, which is one of the abilities that we unlocked um, by upgrading our weapon, which is accurate instant shots for 5 seconds. Well, if he was around, we would have had him killed. I don't think we're seeing any more of him. He might discover the dead body uh, on bottom floor also. Who is that? A guard, okay. Um, oop! Pretty lady, let's get her now. Ah, oh, come on. I lost my chance. Okay, maybe she'll come back around. Up. Oh, you know what? Uh I don't know. I want to kill the target first, but once once you kill the target in 10 seconds the game ends. And I'm trying to kill the other target. Oh. Their guards running, so they're looking Oh my god. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have to kill our target now or we'll probably miss him. Get him. Come on. Yes. Let's go. So just like that, as you saw, I anticipated um, his speed. I like accounted for it. Shot in front. Got him killed. That right there was one solid game of Hitman. We completed both our objectives and we got a couple headshots. Obviously, you can kill these guards and these targets with normal shots, but you get extra score 
when you get headshots and you know like this Mi uh, minimize zoom or long shots you get extra points for that so that's that's always good all right let's see what rewards we got cool nice so we got some part bolt parts for a gun called Arebus. we got some cash all right In Hitman games, if you alert the guards, that's it. The game usually ends. You've lost it, so you have to be very stealthy. Um, in this game, also, when you're when you're like looking around the map, when you find guards, kill them, but try not to be spotted. All right. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Our rank increase. We got new rewards. Awesome. So I think possibly we unlocked a new weapon and we got new intel for one of our old targets as i mentioned earlier awesome okay so we have actually unlocked the weapon which is awesome um the cash that you earn in the games is what you can use to upgrade the weapons right here as we can see for thirty-five thousand. Let's let's create the weapon and we just unlocked a new ability awesome before we end off though let's play a game of the death valley which is essentially just killing zombies but i won't show you guys the first wave i'm gonna skip skip ahead to the second wave so you guys can see like you know it gets stressful with all the zombies okay so this is wave two of the zombie game let me show you guys fudge um they're getting really close okay all right this always end up oh, never mind okay i thought i was doing decent there but um come on Oof. Yes, okay. Close call. Up. Oh. Come on, man. Alright, so even with the, the breathing thing, you always have to anticipate the movement and uh, shoot accordingly. Man, there are so many of them. Oh, no, that's a miss. Okay, I need to reload. Real quick, I always hear when you do this. Like, oh, he's dying. I'm dying. Alright. Okay, good shot. Oh, beautiful. That was so good. We just anticipated that. You know, we didn't even need the... Uh, oh, that one too. We can... Uh... Ah, missed. Okay. I see there's a lot, a lot of zombies coming from up front. Oh, shoot. Okay, I missed. Yes, beautiful. All right, we have to reload soon. Okay, shoot. Alright, I wish this could go faster, but we are earning a lot of tokens, so I'm sure we will um, upgrade something very soon. Oh, got him, got him, you too. I would obviously prefer having more headshots, but when they're coming at this pace, you know, it's, it's whatever, like, at this point, you just gotta survive, get as many kills as possible. Alright, let's see where they're coming from. The guy is still busy. Oh! Okay, we got we got some some with the uh, red skull red skull signs. I guess these ones are very dangerous. I think they even, if they even oh is it because they're harder to kill? Oh shoot, guys, they're very hard to kill. Uh, I think we might need to upgrade our weapon. Oh come on! I think my uh, gun got jammed. Okay. Oh, so we can see the the sign itself is like their health bar, and so I needed um, like five shots or something to get that zombie kills oh he's departing beautiful oh let's go we rescued ben that was so good we earned 185 tokens that's a lot let's see what we can do with it okay so all right what is this so five more zombie tokens to start it's so these are some upgrades that you can you can purchase as you play the zombie the, the death valley mode um, obviously it's cool I mean you spend 750 tokens but with every game you get five more zombie tokens at the start and you can play this at a hard level at an expert level which simply means you'll have um, a higher rate of zombies coming at you and they'll just be harder to kill um, but besides that that's that's it the game that really is a game you know you can move on to the different chapters it's gonna get even harder to uh, kill these opponents these targets but obviously the rewards are going to be better it's a very fun game i hope you guys check this game out on gate base um anyway thank you for watching enjoy